we're looking at right now is a very, very perplexing crime scene. We start tonight with team coverage after the search ends for missing mom to be Savannah Soto. This afternoon, her body was found along with her boyfriend, Matthew Guerra. Thanks for joining us tonight for News 4 at 10. I'm Jonathan Martinez. Tonight, that investigation is believed to be a potential murder as San Antonio Police Chief William McManus reveals they believe two bodies found inside of a vehicle may have been there for three to four days. Soto was last seen on Friday, December the 22nd on the northwest side. Since then, family and friends have been searching for the teen who was believed to be in danger just a day before she was set to be induced and have her baby. Over the weekend, Soto's mother pleaded for the community to come forward with any information about her missing daughter. The discovery of the two bodies earlier today by police leaving Soto's family devastated. Many of her relatives were at the scene and understandably left heartbroken. News for San Antonio's Amanda Henderson is live where that discovery was made with more. Amanda. Yeah, Jonathan, you can imagine it was just an outpouring of grief out here for hours today. Family members only really leaving maybe about an hour or two ago. Many of them just staring at the location of where the car was. In disbelief that Savannah and her boyfriend were likely found inside dead. The search for Savannah Soto and her boyfriend has come to a tragic end. San Antonio police believe Savannah and her boyfriend are the two people found dead in 2013 Kia Optima at a northwest side apartment complex. I'm just, my heart is broken right now. And nothing that we're going to replace her. We first introduced you to Rachel Soto last night. Her pleas were simple to help bring her pregnant granddaughter Savannah Soto home. Family has been looking for the 18 year old since Saturday when she didn't show up to be induced. Less than 24 hours later, Rachel's pleas are now for you to remember her granddaughter for who she was. She was a good girl. She loved sports. She played basketball with her brothers. She was a heart. She was beautiful inside and out. SAPD Chief William McManus says he's unable to confirm if either of the dead are pregnant and calls the case complexing. I, I don't want to go into details about that, but it, but again, I, I will repeat that it, is, it, it appears to be a very complex crime scene. The case originated in Leon Valley, who sent out a clear alert. We asked Chief McManus why an alert wasn't sent out in San Antonio. This originating in Leon Valley, that's why I came out from there, the alert, clear alert. Was there ever any indication that SAPD should have put out a clear alert of their own? No. Tonight, Savannah's family is left devastated after she is the second person they have lost in two years. Last year, her 15-year-old brother Ethan was shot and killed. Now they're hoping as days pass, answers will come. We're supposed to celebrate Christmas with her and baby. Um, all she wanted, all she wanted was that baby. She didn't think about anything else. Um, she was so ready to be a mom. And just adding to the heartbreak tonight, that family member who you heard from right before we just came back on air, she tells us tonight that she was actually tipped off to where the car was, called officials, but got here before them. So she went to the car, opened the door, saw a gruesome scene, and she even said that she couldn't believe the fact that Savannah could be dead. She thought maybe she had just passed out. She says that tonight they are just reeling with all of the information that is coming in. San Antonio police has taken over the investigation at this point, so as more information becomes available, we will bring it to you. Reporting in San Antonio, I'm Amanda Henderson. Continuing our coverage tonight on the discovery of the bodies of Soto and her boyfriend. At this point, the police chief is not ready to say what kind of case detectives have on their hands or exactly what happened that led to the deaths. All that is still being investigated. New tonight, the I-team's Mariah Medina obtained court records that revealed Soto's boyfriend had been charged with violence against Soto in the past. Mariah? That's right, Savannah Soto's boyfriend Matthew Guerra had been charged with assaulting her on Christmas Day of last year. Guerra received a year of probation and that was expected to end in June of 2024. But court documents show Guerra picked up more charges along the way. A violation report obtained by the I-team shows that Guerra was charged with unlawful carry of a weapon, reckless driving and evading arrest. His possession of a gun, a violation of his probation, which prohibited him from having guns. Another condition of his probation was to not have harmful or injurious contact with Soto, his girlfriend. Police have provided no information indicating Guerra was involved in his girlfriend's death, but police not really saying much. 
and detectives right now are looking at this as a possible murder, and uh, but we don't know for sure. As for whether there were any firearms in the car? We don't know that yet. We have not been able to move the bodies. The San Antonio Police Department is leading the investigation into the couple's deaths. Once the Bear County Medical Examiner's Office releases a cause and manner, we will let you know. For the News 4 I-Team, I'm Mariah Medina. If you or someone you know is in a violent relationship, there is help available. Head to news4sa.com or you can find links to resources right here in our community. And do you have a story that you'd like the I-Team to look into? If so, you can call the News 4 I-Team tip line at 210-476-1070 or you can send an email to iteam at news4sa.com.